best foundations for dry mature skin those foundations are coming in a review to you right now Hi friends, once or twice a year, I do a roundup of the foundations that I have absolutely been loving and work so well on my mature skin. I do have normal to dry skin. It used to be just super dry. And as I get into the winter months, it does get drier. And that's kind of what this particular video is geared towards is dry mature skin. But I do think that these foundations would work even if you had normal skin, combo skin, if you had very very oily skin some of them might might not there might be a couple in here that I could cite that would be and I want to just tell you a sneak peek that I had all of you do a poll of what your favorite foundations are but that video is going to be 10 foundations that you guys told me about that are your favorites some of them I do have but some of them I didn't and I wanted to try them out so I'm going to be doing that and then bringing you another video from your picks of foundations so watch for that video let's get started with this one because 10 foundations and reviewing those could take a while from koki this is the full cover foundation now koki does have an hd foundation which i don't like as much it doesn't seem to lay as pretty on my skin i am wearing this on this side today it is on this side of my face it covers so well and even though it says it's full coverage i do feel like if you use one coat first you're not going to get a completely full coverage but as far as it not being cakey and it not settling into fine lines and wrinkles and giving you texture it's a gorgeous long wearing foundation that can give you full coverage in two coats it's a beautiful color for me too let me see what color i have it is called shade 20c so the c denotes being a little bit more cool you can pick up this foundation at sally beauty and at sally beauty online and of course at Koki Cosmetics online. It's a great foundation, kind of a medium texture, not very, not too thick, but it's really not a thin one either. All right, the next one I have is actually a dupe for one of your picks. Um, we'll talk about that in the other video, but it's the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation. This has good skin-loving ingredients in it. It is medium coverage and has a sunscreen of SPF 50 plus, and it says it's hydrating and age-defying and mine is in cool ivory it is a thinner texture i love that it has all the yummy ingredients in it too that help with aging skin a lot of hyaluronic acid to plump up our fine lines and wrinkles it covers just like a dream and it's actually quite a dewy foundation so if you are somebody that's oily i would say skip this the cokey full coverage you would be okay with no matter what skin texture you're is i think this is one that i do reach for when i'm very dry in the winter winter months because it is very hydrating and it just lays down gorgeous on my skin. It's medium coverage like it says, but it can be built up to give you more coverage. This is a gorgeous foundation. I love number seven's foundations. I've never gone wrong with any of them. Love them so much. The next one is Estee Lauder's Futurist Hydro Rescue Moisturizing Makeup with a broad spectrum of 45. This is a beautiful foundation. It's actually very much like the number seven. So this price tag can be a little bit heavy, but if you're somebody that's really dry and you have struggled for a long time with not being able to find a good foundation for you, you might really like this. Let me see what my color is. I believe Fresco. So it's 2C3. Um, it's still pretty fair, but this is a really, really good color for me. I love that this has a pump. I love that you can get every last drop out of it because you get to squeeze it. I also really adore how this lays on dry skin. It's super hydrating. And again, if you're somebody that's very oily, you might want to skip this one. But for me in the winter, this is one that I reach for over and over again. It does have that medium coverage again because it is super hydrating. But you can either go in before your makeup, your foundation, and, you know, spot 
correct or you can do a little extra coat over the areas that you need to mine is this area right here that i always need extra coverage in absolutely no caking no getting orange on you this lays down into my big pores and doesn't settle into them and make me look like i have texture i love this foundation and i'm not normally one that spends this kind of money but i'm so glad that i did on this particular foundation next one is the one that i'm wearing on this side of my face and that is the fenty ease drops I think these are fantastic. It's a very thin formula. This one says blurring skin tint and it acts like a skin tint, but it also acts like a full coverage foundation. I think it's gorgeous. This one I will have to put up on the screen what my color is. It is a perfect color for me as well. And again, no oxidation, no turning orange. I love that this is thinner for a mature woman that does struggle with having things look cakey. This will never look cakey. This is so easy to use too. I put it on a brush and slap, slap, slap it on and I'm done very quickly. You could use a beauty blender or whatever with any of these. I will link a video for you down below and hopefully we'll remember to put it up in a card of how I do my foundation with a brush and then touch it up with a sponge that works so well. But I just think that this foundation has come onto the market specifically for the mature woman. It just looks so flawless on skin, on anybody's skin. If you're somebody that is younger, you don't have texture, fine lines, that kind of thing, it would work great for you too. But since it's so thin, I never have any problems with it settling into fine lines or showing up any of that texture. Super long wearing. Actually, that's what all of these have in common. They don't show texture. They don't turn orange they don't crease they don't look cakey that's what all of them do but fenty is a beautiful one for a very very thin formula and i like it very much this one from catrice the true skin hydrating foundation this one knocked my socks off this one is so hydrating and so lovely on my dry skin in the winter that i reach for it constantly it came out last year and i was just so surprised i'll tell you what it's almost a dupe for the estee lauder futurist i I think that if you're somebody that doesn't want this price tag either, take a peek at this one because it just does something on your skin that's just so flawless and so pretty. It will blend out like a dream. Then I can't see what color this is so i'll put it up on the screen but it is a little bit too light for me it does say that it has hyaluronic acid in it and it's very long wearing it is really long wearing so if you're somebody that struggles with needing that extra moisture in their foundation like the other ones i've shown this one gives you that added boost and i think that if you're somebody with normal skin you're gonna like it if you have combo skin make sure you just powder a little bit extra through your t-zone um, but it's beautiful and it again will set down on your skin last all day and look like it did when you first put it on it's just pretty now when i say it'll look like it did when you first put it on that's the exception that if you don't have hot flashes or you don't sweat because i take hormone replacement therapy so there is an occasional breakthrough of the power surges from menopause and i get a hot flash so yeah it can break apart if that happens any of these really can but as far as being a beautiful foundation and that it just covers absolutely like a dream i love this foundation it's again it's probably more of a medium coverage and you can definitely build it up to be a full coverage this one is from believe beauty and i use between the color beige delicate ivory sorry and nude those two together just give me a beautiful color and at five dollars a bottle i'm telling you this is my one of the most luxurious foundations I think I've ever found. And it doesn't matter if you're dry skin all the way to oily skin. If you're super oily, you might not like it, but I have had people that are oily tell me that it works so good for them. For this price at $5, this is probably the most perfecting foundation I've ever found. You could put this at at a Nordstrom counter or a Macy's counter and people would have no idea that this wasn't a super expensive super high-end foundation this 
covers like a dream in one coat it lays across your skin in such a flawless manner it fills in the pores without showing texture never settles never breaks apart never oxidizes it is gorgeous i cannot believe that this is five dollars and over and over again i use this one because it is just that good i really would recommend that any of you that haven't tried it even if you really love your high end please try this foundation because it is one of those foundations that i feel like everybody that's tried it has felt like it's just their perfect foundation it is a gorgeous gorgeous foundation next one on here is one that i haven't talked about in a while and i still can't believe that i haven't talked about it it's from zoeva and it's their authentic skin foundation and this really it says natural luminous foundation it is a beautiful beautiful coverage of foundation it's not one that is super hydrating or super drying it's right in that middle sweet spot this will perfect your skin in one coat across your face it is gorgeous i do have a full video i probably have full videos with trying most of these which i definitely will link for you as many of them as i can down below so that you can see them in action but this one i know that i definitely have a video for beautiful foundation does make your skin look just like skin so you might have you know i have some dark spots through here you might have that peek through a little bit of at one coat but if you wanted to put two coats on and cover it covers so well now i do know that i do have a couple of those dark spots that no matter what foundation i'm using they're going to show through that's where the authentic skin part comes in i think i think it's pretty to have your skin look like skin instead of having it look like you have caked makeup on it this foundation will never look cakey it looks so natural and so luminous on your face and just gives you the most beautiful glow and i i really really love this foundation as well next one i have is one that i've been talking about all summer long the sephora best skin ever i have two because this was the one that i bought in the winter time and then i went out and bought this one to mix together for when i had a little bit more color but the sephora best skin ever is so much like the zoeva i really think that that's why i just love it so very much because it really has that beautiful look when you put it on your skin skin of just being a perfecting foundation and a flawless look on your skin and again it makes your skin look like skin instead of just making it look like oh your makeup's beautiful no your skin is beautiful with this it does have a pump it comes with a glass bottle i usually haven't talked about those most of them do have pumps and they come with glass bottles but i really enjoy that this one is super long wearing it's one that you can have on early in the morning and then later on at night you're going to look at your skin and you're going to go this still looks really good on me it blends out like a dream i cannot believe that this is a foundation that isn't talked more about on youtube or in the beauty community because it is just a gorgeous foundation that looks so pretty on mature skin any skin really because if you fight with that texture or you fight with things settling into your creases and your fine lines this is so good it just doesn't do that and the nice thing about it as well is that any other makeup that i will put on top of it any primer that i use underneath it it just looks good it's just a beautiful foundation and definitely very long wearing and definitely full coverage as far as that goes too next one is one that i discovered last year as well but it's been on the market for years it's the bare minerals bare pro performance wear liquid foundation this is kind of a medium medium textured foundation so it's a little bit thicker than the other ones that i kind of showed you but as far as it being one that perfects and makes your skin look absolutely flawless the first time i used it i was blown away i was like this is probably the most perfecting foundation that i had seen in a long time so it is a little bit more on the full coverage side so i do wear this more when i need something to stay put and not move at all for a very special occasion like if i'm going to a wedding or i'm doing something where i need to be out all day but i need my makeup to look really good all day long this is it it covers in one coat like i said so you don't have a bunch of touch up that you have to do it is a little bit more of a foundation look than the other ones i'm talking about so if you get it and you try it and you find that oh it just looks a little bit heavy stick just one tiny drop of oil in it or even some moisturizing primer 
you will adore it because I have never seen anything perform so well on my skin from the very first time I tried it as long as I've tried it. it I never have a bad makeup day when I try this. It's just a beautiful foundation. Again, the same thing with no oxidizing, no turning orange, no settling into any fine lines, texture, long wearing. It's gorgeous. Now, of course, you know that my number one foundation or the last foundation that I have to talk about is the num number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action action serum foundation has a sunscreen of 15 and this is my holy grail foundation and i will say that the believe beauty and this one are the two that i alternate and that i reach for the very most i have two colors again a winter and a summer color but i have touted this forever and i will link a video where i try this on too this is the foundation that i feel like is the most suited to every single person that i've ever recommended it to. I don't know if I've ever had anybody come back and say that doesn't work for me. If you have tried it and it hasn't worked for you, I would even welcome your comment down below and tell me why you feel like it didn't work for you. Because I even had my friend Kimberly from Pretty Over 50 try this. Actually, she tried it in a video. It worked so beautifully on her skin that she was blown away too. She did it in a first impressions video, which I'll link as well. It is one of those foundations that I feel like just makes skin Skin look better. It just gives you that luminous glow without having a glowy dewy look. It just brightens your face and I have talked about this on my channel so much that I know you guys are completely sick of it. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it, but if you have been wondering about any of number seven's foundations, most of them are absolutely gorgeous, but the Lift and Luminate will make you look so youthful and so pretty. I just love this foundation. And that's the last one for me to talk about today. If you do have any questions or any comments about these foundations, you use them yourself, you are wondering about different things that I didn't touch on today, make sure that you list all of that in the comment section and ask me questions or let everybody know what you think about the particular foundations yourself, whether they worked or not. That really helps people make sure that you tell people what your skin type is so that they can know that as well. I sure do appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope that you're all doing very well and that you're happy and healthy. I love you so much and I will catch you all in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.